Hey, what's up, guys? Here's another episode of your Car Fact Channel. On this episode, I'm gonna show you why or why what are some of the reasons why your car might have an an unstable idle. Let's say the RPMs goes up and down, and you might have also like a like a cylinder misfire, and it could be intermittent. That's the problem. It could be intermittent. It might 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 be the that you don't have a check engine light on but you have the the uh, misfire and you don't know what it is so I'm gonna show you one of the reasons that it could be if you have a truck let's say from 90s this is a 97 Dodge Ram and you have a truck or car that has uh, spark plug wires so let me show you I'm gonna go to the engine compartment on this truck and you can see that the engine is vibrating more than normal it's kind of shaking I'm gonna say shaking shaking is the right the right uh, word for this uh, it's shaking also another symptom is uh, it's losing a lot of power like I said it could be like a like an engine misfire I don't know if you can hear some kind of uh, like a ticking noise I don't know if you can hear it through the video but I'm gonna show you the main reason of losing power also the main reason of a cylinder misfire an intermittent cylinder misfire and engine shaking so I'm gonna focus the camera to the spark plug wire I don't know if you can see the spark there as you can see on the yellow wire which is not the original wire you see it's different color it's yellow so I think somebody else changed it before but it's not a good wire why? because it's jumping the spark if you see there jumping the spark is grounding on the cylinder head instead of the spark plug that's why we have an intermittent cylinder misfire on that on that cylinder because the, the, the spark is jumping to the either the manifold or the cylinder head instead of the spark plug so how can we resolve this problem well First of all, we have to change all the spark plug wires. Not only that one. That would be a cheap job. We have to change all of them. And also, we have to change that spark plug. Why? Because if I remove that spark plug, the spark plug is going to be full of uh, carbon. Why? Because the combustion is not doing it. I mean, the combustion is not right. There is no spark inside of the combustion chamber and the combustion is not completed. So there's there's gonna be a lot of fuel and that fuel is gonna be converted to carbon on the on the spark plug. So we might think it's a, a, a injector, an injector, and it's not an injector, it does the problem. You see there? The spark is jumping. That's not normal. The, the spark has to be to inside of the spark plug. So, like I said, in order to fix it, let's, we have to change all the spark plug and change that all the, the spark plug wires. I'm sorry. We have to change all of them and also that spark plug. I'm not gonna say we have to change all the spark plugs on this truck because they already did the tune-up on it. It has new spark plugs. But it's been driving it like that. They thought it was uh, some kind of uh, of, of spark plug uh, failure instead of the spark plug wire. So that's why they did the tune up. They 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 changed the spark plugs. They changed the filters. They changed the they they washed the injectors. They clean up the injectors. But they didn't didn't resolve the problem because they were the problem. It's a spark plug wire.
So if you have a car that has spark plug wires and you ha may have a, like, a, like a cylinder misfire, like an intermittent cylinder misfire, or you have loss of power, you have engine shaking, that could be the problem, my friend. When you do the tune-up, remember that you also have to change the spark plug wires. Not only the spark plugs, you have to change the spark plug wires. This, this problem happens also on cars that has the, the coil package type. The coil package type is the one that where you connect all the spark plug wires to one coil. It even happened to me on different cars and on Jettas with the VR6 motors. That happened a lot. So if you hear the noise but you don't see the spark. You don't see the spark on the on the on the spark plug wires. What you can do is that you can during the night you turn off all the lights. It has to be dark. All the engine compartment has to be dark. You turn on the car and you will see the spark. That's the way you have to do it. If you don't see it during the day, if you don't see the spark, you only can hear that ticking noise the noise of the spark jumping the way you have to do it like I said during the night when it's all dark the engine compartment has to be completely dark and that way you will see the spark somewhere some people put water on the on the on the coil on the coil package they put water in order to see if if the if the the spark jumps if it jumps around but you don't have to put water you will see if you hear the ticking noise you only have to do that it has to be dark and you will see the spark in this case we can see it you can see it there and the thing is that they already changed that spark plug wire so they had a problem with that wire and they didn't fix it with the wire or maybe this wire it was used and it had the same problem. Maybe it doesn't have the little plug, the metal plug that plugs on the, the connects to the spark plug. And it, it might have only the little wire, the little carbon wire inside. And that's why it's jumping. So on this type of cables, on this type of wires, remember that it has like a plug, like a, like a connector, like a, a metal connector inside of it that will connect on the on the spark plug that's the thing that holds the 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 wire on the spark plug if it doesn't have it don't send then then this is gonna, gonna happen this problem as you can see there see Some people get confused when they hear that noise. They think it's a lifter. They think it's something else. They think some, it's something mechanical, and it's not. It's something from the ignition system. It's the wire. It's the 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 sound of the spark jumping. If it's dangerous, that that would be the question. Well, it could be dangerous at some point. Why? Because if you got like a fuel leak fuel leak and if you and you and the fuel leak picks picks up that uh, pick up that spark well so if something is gonna happen something serious is gonna happen so my friends I just wanted to show you this problem because if you have it if you have the same symptoms engine shaking intermittent uh, cylinder misfire losing of power and you have uh, spark plug wires well replace them because that could be the problem and it's pretty easy just make sure remove one by one don't remove all of the of the wires if you're gonna do it yourself remove one by one and then you're gonna be fine buy a good brand don't buy those cheap ones because that could happen okay my friends
Well, hope you like this video. See you on the, on the next video. Thank you. Bye.